Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Super Nintendo emulator on your iOS 8 device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Safari and type in iEmulators.com. Once you go to the website, it should look like this. Uh, you're going to want to tap on Apps and scroll down until we find the emulator for the Super Nintendo. So here it is. It's called SIOS. So tap on that and then tap on install. Once you tap on install, you'll get this. And the trick to downloading it is that you'll need, after you tap install, you'll need to go into your settings and go into the time and change it just back a day. So I'll show you guys how it works. So we tap on install and we get out of here and we go to settings and I'm already in date and time. It says here, unable to download app. So you can either press done or retry. Uh, I'm going to press retry and then I'm going to change the date really quick and go to October 5th. It says unable to download again, so I'm going to tap retry again the day before and the application should download. And there it is. It's called SIOS. Uh, the first time you open it, it'll ask if you want to trust it, so tap on trust. And now you can see here that I am in SIOS, but I have no games. So I'm going to download a game really quick. Make sure you own the games before you download them because it's technically illegal. It's piracy to download any ROMs that you don't actually have the physical copy of. So make sure you own it before you download something. Once you find a ROM to download and you have it downloaded, you'll get the option to open an SIOS. Uh, this will be in Safari. So I'm going to tap on that. And now you can see that I have a ROM. So to play the game, all I have to do is just tap on this. Before we get into that, I'm going to go into the settings and make sure that full screen is enabled. It allows you to view the game in full screen, which is a much better experience. Uh, here you can also change the controller. Um, so those are the only settings that I really want to change. So once I'm done with that, I can open it up. And you can see that I am playing Donkey Kong Country, which is a game that I used to love playing on my Super Nintendo. Um, here's the start, select, and menu, and here's the cross buttons, and also A, B, X, Y, and the trigger buttons. So I'm just going to really quickly show you how it plays. And so here I am, just playing as if I would on my Super Nintendo. The controls are a little bit different, so just be aware of that. But overall, it's pretty great, and the graphics look nice. And uh, once you get used to it, it's pretty fun to use. If you want to get the full screen experience, uh, what you should do is rotate your device horizontally. And the controls will separate, which also makes it easier to play. And with the game in full screen, there's just more real estate. So that's it. All right, thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks, guys.